Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the ice and water dispenser pads in a Whirlpool refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a putty knife, a quarter-inch nut driver, and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new ice and water dispenser pads. These ice and water dispenser pads are sold as a pair. They are installed inside the dispenser opening. By pushing one of them, you are getting a water dispenser, and by pushing the other one, ice. The main reason to replace the ice and water dispenser pads is if they are broken. We need to start the disassembly uh, with taking off this control panel. There are three clips at the bottom. I'm going to use the flat blast driver. I'm going to push them up and release this uh, control panel. Tilt it forward and pull it down. So we're going to disengage these uh, clips here on the top. And I'm going to turn it over. All right, so I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to take out the plugs. And I'm going to place it somewhere safe. Don't throw it away. Next, we're going to remove this dispenser drip tray. I'm going to use this uh, putty knife. And I'm going to insert it in the corners here and pry it out. Now we can slide it out. Next, we need to remove this uh, other tray. And there's uh, two quarter inch screws. And I'm going to use a quarter inch nut driver. And I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to slide it out. Our next step is uh, remove these two quarter inch screws. Using the quarter inch nut driver, I'm going to take them out. Next, I need to slide all this assembly on the top forward. So there's the clips, one on the left and the one on the right sides. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to open that clip on the left and pull the left side out. And I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to leave it there. Now I'm going to use the putty knife. I'm going to insert it right there in the seam here on the side. I'm going to slide it in, push it in slightly and uh, bend it inward so we can free the clip. I'm going to down and do the same thing. And one more. And one more. Pull up, pull out this side and switch the sides. Yeah, this side comes off easily. I'm going to remove it. Pull out the top and we can slide this uh, insert with the pads out. All right, so let's bring this assembly to the table and uh, I'm going to remove it now, the both uh, pads. We have uh, three clips on each pad. so. I'm going to uh, hold it from the inside, press it in, and slide it upwards. Now I'm going to release this tape. And leave it there. That's number one. And uh, same thing, 
And on the other one, that's on his eyes. And the tape from the harness. Pull it through. And there we are. This is the old ice and water dispenser pads next to the new one. If you don't have these parts, you can get them from appliancepartspros.com. So this is our inner panel for the uh, dispenser. And if you look at the back, then uh, on this side we'll have our water pad and on this side would be the ice pad. So if you look this way, so then we got the uh, water and ice. And I'm going to choose the ice pad. That's what it is. At the back, we have a one, two, and three clips and a little pin here. Now I'm going to mount it. The pin has to be inside of this long cutout. So uh, I'm going to place the harness in. And then I'm going to uh, put this bottom clips in and the uh, same time the plastic little pin here, little post right there. Now we're going to uh, press it from inside and slide it so it locked. Next I'm going to install this water pad. Same thing. We've got uh, one, two, three clips and we've got this uh, pin here on the side. I'm going to insert the harness into the cutout and uh, then uh, we're going to look from this side this time. All three clips here are in and this uh, plastic pin is inside the cutout. Slide it in and lock. Next I'm going to route this uh, harness to the side. I'm going to use the tape here. I mean you can use new tape, you can use the old one. And now we're going to install it into the fridge. So now I'm going to bring this panel into the uh, dispenser. So I'm going to lift up the upper portion. And I'm going to slide it in. I'm going to route this on the top. All right, so bring this in and push it in the sides. I'm going to lock the clips. And now I'm going to place this uh, harness under the hook on this side and then we have the same hook on the opposite side. So we're going to place this harness under the hook. And this one, I'm going to slide it under the hook. I'm going to slide it in. And now I can secure this top assembly with a couple of quarter inch screws. I'm using this uh, quarter inch nut driver. And we're going to put it in and tighten. Now I'm going to install this panel that goes under the uh, drip pan. And uh, we have these two posts. And we're going to be inserting them into these two openings at the back. So I'm going to slide it in. And I'm going to secure it with a couple of quarter inch screws. Using the quarter inch nut driver, I'm going to tighten that. So we're going to install this uh, drip pan. If you look at the back of it, you will see there's uh, two rails here and the channel here the, uh, in the middle. And if you look at this panel, you will see this uh, two rails and the guide in the middle. So we're going to need to install this thing so it will fit 
rail into the rail and the channel over the guide. I'm going to slide it in, then I'm going to lift up the end here. There's a stopper there, so I'm going to lift up and press it in. And now it's time to connect uh, the plugs to this uh, control panel. And I'm going to prepare everything. And uh, connect it. I'm going to start with this end. This large plug goes in there. And then um, this. And bring it on this side, and we have this. All right, so all in. And we're going to install this panel. This uh, five pins goes into the slots on the top. Push it up, and uh, I'm going to lock the bottom. The, the last thing to do is to remove this protective film from the pad. So we got a little tab here. I'm going to pull it off. And this one. Plug the fridge in, open the water, and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.